Okay, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, so just finished up our gold zone, uh, and uh, it was good. You know, gold zone, red zone was good today. Uh, a lot of good plays, a lot of good concepts, uh, a lot of creativity down there, so we're excited about uh, that, and that was good. After the Afterward, uh, you know, energy was really good with the group. Uh, I thought the speeds were good. And then afterward, I brought the guys up and talked to them, uh, and we named our honorary captain, uh, which is uh, Kari Blassing Game. Yeah, so we're, we're excited about Kari uh, doing that, and uh, he's excited too. The guys were real pumped for that. Um, hadn't had a chance to talk to you guys uh, since Allen has resigned um, on Wednesday. Um, just a few notes there. Um, so once the news was out, it was out after, of course, after practice. Uh, it was later in the day. Guys were in position meetings, and what I did was I went around to each position room, uh, talked to the guys, or if they were in, you know, walkthrough. Um, at that time, because some of us used ITC walkthroughs, and just visited with guys and told them, I said, hey, you know, this is what it is, and uh, and going forward, the defensive staff uh, is going to still be in tech where they are. Everybody's got their same responsibilities, and on Sunday, I'll be calling the defense and uh, asking if they had any questions and uh, worked it through from there um, in that in that time window. So in real time there. So that's what that's what we did, and uh, you know, then also. Uh, with uh, with the support from Ryan and all those things, you know, that's uh, I, I really appreciate that uh, from uh, him stepping in in that moment uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago there, because I could focus on football, you know, and I think that was really cool that uh, that the uh, owner, uh, president, you know, and the GM uh, you know, stepped in there. That was really good. I appreciate that. And uh, with that, I'll open to questions. Uh, Ellen Williams was your friend and coworker for a long time. Uh, what feelings do you have toward him right now? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was with him four years, five years here. You know, I have, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, friendship. I have uh, feelings for him. But, uh, you know, and again, it's uh, it's he's resigned. And, uh, you know, it's for health and family. And, and we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. And I, I uh, you know, I, I have feelings for Alan Williams, of course. When you came in, when you were hired, you were clear that strategically, I guess I want to say, you didn't want to be a play caller. You didn't want to be a coordinator. You wanted to hire people to do those jobs. Right. Now you're doing that job. It, would it be ideal for you to find someone else to step into that role, whether it's someone you've worked with for a long time or someone that's on staff right now so that you can get back to the role that you envisioned? Yeah, we feel uh, really comfortable because um, when I was in, in the interview process, you know, you go through and, you know, you have to either be the CEO, okay, and be that or be the play caller, okay, and – the head coach, you know, and that's, you have to be flexible there uh, during those times. And, and you have to be, you know, your vision has to be both at that time, you know? So when you're working through those things and you see the best scenario uh, for that particular football team. Um, so you're always ready to go ahead and do that as a defensive coordinator, you know? So I feel very comfortable with calling the defenses and being the head coach, you know? So, and again, I interviewed for, you know, six jobs, you know, from 18 to the one I got here, you know, the sixth one I got. So um, that, that to me is, uh, is a natural fit uh, for where we are right now, and, uh, and I think it's going to be a good fit. Uh, well, I hear you. Clearly you have experience calling defense. I know that. But is that your preference? I mean, right now what you're doing in reality is not what you wanted to do when you took the job. Yeah, I mean, you know, it is where it is. You know, this is the best thing for right now. You know, and I, and I think that's where it is. And uh, it's, a, it's the best thing for our football team and for our organization. You know, so that's where we see it, and uh, that's where it is. Hey Matt, there's, there hasn't been, just from talking to, to players and even coaches, there hasn't been, like, a lot of outward support, I guess, for, for Alan Williams, a lot more no comments or muffled comments in regards to it. Is there something more that we should read into it in terms of him as a coach? Um, and all yeah, that? I wouldn't read into that. I mean, it's just that, you know, it's personal. You know, so people were respecting space and respecting that, I believe, you know, uh, it, you know, so that's what I believe it is. Um, it's no disrespect to the question. It's no, you know, none of that. So um, that's where it is. Have you mm -hmm. been through a week like this before with as much just it seems like stuff away from the actual football product? Yeah, I mean, uh, a few things have happened like this. Um, I'm not going to talk about the exact uh, stuff, but there's there's been a lot of things that have happened like this. You know, you have different things happen personally. Um, with with uh, your players, with your coaches, um, during certain times, and and that's when you see real leadership. You know, that's when you step up 
you know, and that's why, you know, go around and talk to everybody, visit with everybody, make sure everybody's squared away, make sure they understand the vision, you know, for the football team and where it's going. And I think that's the most important thing you do. And uh, me and Ryan, as soon as uh, all this stuff started to go down, what phone went, came together, what's going to be the vision for the week, you know, how we're going to do this. And uh, it, was, it was lockstep with ownership, with president, and uh, it was good. It was good the way we, the way we came together. Matt, this you, is the most public drama you guys have had since you've been here. How, what do you tell your players this week? What, how do you? What, what is your message to them now? Yeah, that's simple. Into the yep, game. yep, simple. That's simple. And you know, I told them uh, every day after practice. I said, lean in and lean on each other. And we've been spending time building relationships with each other. And that locker room is tight. It's a tight locker room. And you could see it the way they practice. And we're just going to keep pounding the rock. And that, to me, is, is really good. How, how they practice today and the energy they had out there uh, tells me everything about the bond they have and the relationship they have as partners, as teammates in the locker room. Matt, you acknowledged you have feelings for Allen. Obviously, on a human level, how, how did this resignation impact you? Um, I would just say that, you know, uh, you know human, you know, because we're all coaches, Right. We're all coaches and, uh, you know, coaching families are, you know, you move here, you move there, you know, you got to be a tight group, you know. So, again, we just uh, reached out for support and that's where it is and it's personal. And we just left it at that. And then we just said, hey, you know, if you need anything, we can help you. Uh, let us know. And okay. then now we spoke to you after Justin spoke on Wednesday. Yeah. But when you went and heard what he said, did you think that he needed to come to us separately again and kind of clarify that he wasn't blaming anyone? Um, you know, hey, that's that's his, that's what he felt. He felt was the right thing to do. I always tell the men, I say, hey, if you think something's right, you know, and you want to do right, step up and do it, right? If you see something that's wrong, okay, and something that somebody, something you can help with, step up and say it, you know, and, and that's how you be a leader, right? And that's how you be a, a man, right, in, in a team, right? So, and you never can take, you know, it's no disrespect to anybody. It's just, it's just you're telling somebody the truth. And we always tell each other, hey, you know, when you have a friendship or a partnership or a teammate that we give permission to each other to tell each other the truth because that's real honesty. You know, a lot of times when you tell that to somebody, you know, they get, you know, they feel like, oh, you know, you're, you're, uh, I'm, I'm being attacked. No, that's not the way it is here, right? And that's why we're so close because we tell, it's honest, we tell each other the truth. And if we want to give each other feedback, that's okay. And, you know, that's how we're going to get better. You know, as a football team. Man, you, you can still give Alan Williams his space and his privacy you can do that and still wish him well and thank him for his contributions to the, organiza to the organization, yet nobody in the, with the Bears has done that. Why, why is that not a red flag that there's more to this story than, than we know? Like, I think, like I said, everybody's respecting space there, and it's personal. And that's, that's, you know, that's, where, that's where it is. It's, a, it's personal, and, and that's where it is, respecting him. With Nate Davis uh, you know, coming off the death in his family, and he was out yesterday for personal reasons, is he going to be touch and go from here on, like as he's dealing with – Whatever it is from personal issue. Well, yeah, I mean that's that's a you know obviously that's a hard thing uh, to deal with you know at, at his age, um, you know so we'll see where it is. You know it's just you know Nate is is you know it's very difficult you know when you grieve for a loss like that. And again, you guys are a lot of you know close to his age, so you can certainly understand and feel that uh, for sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see where it is. Uh, uh, Josh, is Josh was asking you about. Justin Fields' yep. comments earlier in the week in Getzey. That when when that happened, I was thinking that's the ideal situation to be a CEO style coach instead yep. of being so engrossed in the defense. Uh, you could step in and probably one of the yeah. most important relationships. Right. In I did that. Week. Yeah. Oh yeah. I so step in. What, what did you do this week yeah. to make sure that that's on track? Oh, uh, first of all, I'm in the quarterback meeting in the morning and in the afternoon, uh, so it's easy for me to step in there. Um, you know, I lost a, a dart throwing thing before we do it on Saturday, so I got to give gifts tomorrow. You know, so I got some sweet gifts though, for everybody because I don't, didn't throw very good last week. Um, but you know, so I just step in there and say, "Hey, is, is everybody good here?" You know, I had uh, Justin come up to my office, we talked, you know, visited a little bit for five minutes uh, before the breakfast club, um, and everything was good. You know, so just put everything on the table, talk about it, see where it is, and if if I have to step in and. Uh, you know, and help, I will do that. But in that case, I didn't. I'm sure, I'm sure you don't want to get into all the specifics of what you're doing, but do you feel that Justin on Friday, now with the game two days yeah. away, is happy with what you have changed and, and that you have heard and kind of acclimated to his request? I think he's excited for the game. I can just say that for sure. He's excited.
Any, any chance on the, the alignment for the offensive line for him? Can play left tackle. Yeah, um, we're, we're going to see where that is. But uh, Borm's had a good week of practice, and we'll, we'll see where it is for game time. Thanks, yep, guys. Thanks.